This program is offered by Dear True Hunters friends, welcome back to this special video test dedicated to one of the most impressive innovations in terms of exterior and interior ballistics applied in sporting and hunting rifles in the last 20 years. I am introducing you the new multiradial barrel developed by the Italian manufacturer Sabati Mercury that made it especially for sporting and hunting purposes. Since the beginning of uh, its introduction in just a few months of shooting, this type of new generation barrel has achieved a dramatic success on many sport shooting competitions. So much so that uh, I immediately decided to call Mr. Emanuele Sabatti, owner of the fabric and chief engineer of this project, and fix in order for a couple of hunting versions of the, his barrel to give you as soon as possible a deep true field test experience. The Sabatis staff has designed and introduced this new precision rifling profile calling it MRR, acronym for multi-radial rifling with new and unique features. The main objective was to develop a rifling system with seven practical advantages over those of a traditional rifling in terms of interior and exterior ballistics. These advantages are the following. Higher bullet speed at the muzzle, improved group concentration, reduced number of flyers, less copper deposits, less cleaning required, easier cleaning when needed, less barrel wear. As mentioned before, the engineer Sabati has developed a completely new profile of the barrel grooving, the multi-radial rifling that incorporates all the goods of traditional barrels, but it introduces some new features that, that guarantee to his owner all the seven advantages above mentioned. If you compare the traditional rifling profile with the polygonal and the multiradial ones from left to right respectively, you can find out that the last one is ideal with both traditional and monolithic bullets. In fact, with the multiradial rifling barrels, as you can see on the right side of our drawing, two different Radiuses alternate in order to slightly deform the bullet geometrically without submitting it to an extreme plastic or dynamic stress. As a matter of fact, the bullets are pressure formed following a circumference and not duplicate as it always happens in traditional rifling. In practical terms, this fact also extends the life cycle of the barrel. More, there are no sharp corners to fill as in the other rifling system. Therefore, the barrel results cleaner and wears slower. All tests we have carried out have proved that multiradial barrels perform better and with more accuracy than barrels with traditional rifling user using traditional bullets in caliber 7,62 says 308 Winchester and in caliber 264 says 6, uh, times 55 Swedish Mauser, as well as with monolithic bullets. Velocities at the muzzle were higher with, uh, than with the traditional rifling, up to 12% under certain circumstances. And this at standard pressure values. This happens because bullet seals the barrel bore better, thus preventing gas from escaping forward 
and optimizing the effect of the propelling energy. More friction between bullets and barrel is uh, reduced to the minimum. Group concentration is uh, substantially improved due to the extremely uh, tight manufacturing tolerance that can be kept while manufacturing multiradial barrels. As a matter of fact, the multiradial rifling uh, lends itself perfectly to the cold hammer forging. The resulting rifling profile consistency is excellent and the overall quality of this barrel is increased. The specific rifling geometry of the forcing cone in multiradial barrels makes it possible for the chamber neck and freeboard to guide the bullets into the rifling more precisely and steadily with than with the traditional uh, rifling system. The bullet match the barrel axis in the best possible way, thus reducing the flyers. The reduction of the flyer is a real advantage, especially with those caliber which suffer a lot this kind of problem, such as the, three, the 3006. Under similar circumstances, less copper deposit is to be found inside multiradial barrels and therefore less cleaning is required. Also, when needed, cleaning is much easier to do than with traditional rifling. Shooters can improve multiradial barrel performance by simply lapping the bore with abrasive pass pads with no fear of spoiling the rifling edge like with the traditional rifling. These are all the reasons why multiradial rifling is truly ideal for target and competition shooting and his advantage are highly needed and requested by almost all sport shooters and hunters. And that is why now all Sabati target rifles chambered in 308 Winchester 6,47 Lapua and in caliber 6,5 Swedish Mauser are made with multiradial rifling. Coming soon will the 223 Remington. Sabati Mercury has reached the objective it had in mind while designing the new system and by doing so I must say that they have exceeded their own expectations. Such a useful innovation could not escape to my attention being a fan of accurate hunting rifles. So I decided to ask Emanuele Sabati to prepare two different rifles, a Hunter competition model remade for uh, the super classic 6.5 Swedish Mauser caliber, obviously made with a brand new 22 inches semi-weight multiradial barrel, the first rifle ever made for hunting purposes with uh, such a type of barrel. The diameter of the barrel at the muzzle is 17 mm, says three quarter of an inch. This barrel configuration allows the owner to practice both sport shooting and hunting. Then a second rifle prepared in a more classic configuration, this one, mostly for hunting purposes, the Rover 870 with standard 14 mm barrel muzzle diameter, 22 inches barrel, regular size and a camo wood synthetic stock. For what it concerned a hunter competition model, the stock, this is a special synthetic straight comb stock with a nice Monte Carlo chick piece with a small fee of 30 euros or 30 dollars depending upon the market Sabati offers in option and a fiberglass bedding. The butt stock has a well proportioned chick piece and a useful Monte Carlo two very important features for shooting with a scope. The boot is capped with a soft recoil pad, very thick and ergonomic. The checkering is wide and deep as it is customary in mountain rifles. The two sling rings are situated at four inches distance from the recoil pad and the forehand's hand respectively. The receiver has uh, the usual integral screw thread holes for standard scope bases mounting similar to those of the Remington 700. The trigger of our test rifles released cleanly with zero take up at two pounds according to my 
RCBS trigger pull scale, but it can be adjusted from 3 quarter to 3.5 pound through an internal screw. In options, Abati offers the French stacker system that uh, I have personally adopted for my hunting field test. The Sepity is the standard two positions type. Forward is fire, rearward is safe and locks the bolt closet. The bolt release is located at the left rear of the receiver. The magazine hosts three rounds plus a port cartridge in the chamber. The magazine release is a lever protruding rearward from uh, the front of the cast aluminum trigger guard. The barrel is cold forged and has the standard European rifle twist of 1 to 8.5 inches with four right hand grooves, says the original one, in order to correctly stabilize bullets from 85 to 160 grains. For my hunting field test, I decided to top the rifles with a high-priced scope because I strongly needed a high definition and very sharp lenses for wild boar and deer hunting in twilight conditions and, above all, a precise ballistic reticle for long-range shooting. My choice went to the brand new Cytron S-Stack 2.5 17.5 Times 56, a scope that hosts a mill hash reticle with a sophisticated illumination system and a 30 mm tube. The mill hash is a first focal plane reticle capable of great accuracy in holdover operation, especially with this specific caliber. This is a 100% waterproof, fogproof, shockproof rifle scope and has a fully multi coated optics nitrogen purgate. The total length of the scope is 15 inches, while the, its weight is around 25 inches. This scope is very tough and offers far more than what its stack price display. As a matter of fact, with this Cytron, the hunter can hunt in dusk situation even at long distance. Frankly speaking, this level of quality is available only in European scope which costs at least two or three times more. Due to the kind of hunting fields, average shooting distances and species of game of the test, I decided to use a standard commercial ammunition, the Cellier and Below 140 grains nozzle partition bullet. This bullet is particularly well suited to the old Swedish Mauser for use on light and medium game at reasonable distances, says uh, up to 500 meters. Wounding is quite wide and kills tend to be very fast. The 140 grain is a medium weight for this caliber, so it has speed and energy in abundance and it comes into its own when used on game weighting between 25 and 250 kilos out to ranges of around 400 yards. And this was the case of uh, most of my tests. Penetration is surprisingly good. This projectile has the ability to reach beetles with tail on shoot. More with small animals such as the little roe deer whose average weight is around 25 kilos, the spoil of eligible meat results very low. The key to outstanding all-around performance with the 140 grains nozzle partition is mild muzzle velocity no greater than 2500 fps. From the lower muzzle velocity of 2500 fps, this partition bullet produced quite wide fast bleeding wounds out to 400 yards with a progressive reduction in stopping power between 400 and 500 yards. The 140 grains partition bullet continues to excel below 2000 FPS even in presence of bone strikes. This projectile requires quite little resistance to initiate expansion and for this reason is an ethical killer even at medium and long range approaching where wind factors make exact shot placement more difficult. Occasionally, pinhole winding says rear long lever shots can occur at the velocities lower 
than 1,500 FPS. The Cellier Below Charge pushes it at 2,500 FPS at the muzzle offering 2,550 joule of energy. Energy drops at 2,200 joule at 100 meter, while at 200 meter is uh, at 1,100 joule and 1,650 joule at 300 meter. While zeroed at 100 meter, it drops down of uh, 15 centimeter at 200 meter and 54 centimeter at 300 meter. This number says that it is quite fast cartridge with a good level of energy and particularly tight trajectory to shoot at all the average shooting distances in the normal European hunting fields. Well, my dear true hunters friends, after the due introduction to our starlets, now let's go to the shooting range and then immediately after on the hunting fields. Finally, I am at the shooting range, 200 yards. Uh, first time with the multi radial rifling Sabati Rover 870. Today I'm gonna verify uh, the performance of uh, this type of rifling at 200 yards. Uh, I will shoot uh, some groups, from three shot groups, and then I will shoot again uh, with, uh, with a conventional uh, rifling uh, the same uh, uh, rifle, uh, the same caliber, the same ammunition, and uh, we will see the difference, the eventual difference between the two. Uh, then I will shoot again with the other rifle, uh, the Hunter competition. Uh, I expected uh, uh, some, uh, some uh, really good performance, and uh, above all, uh, we have to uh, we have to think that. Uh, uh, we are uh, going to shoot uh, in uh, for hunting purposes, not uh, for uh, sporting purposes. So uh, I'm 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 uh, very curious to see uh, <laughs> what's going on with this rifling. And then, okay, I will start up, and then uh, uh, we will see uh, the performance. Dear True Hunters friends, after the long uh, shooting session at the range, let's make some uh, useful comments about the, the groups and the results of the group of the three uh, Sabati rifles I have, I have used on the shooting range. Two of the rifles have both the multi-radial barrel, one as I mentioned is the Hunter competition model, then the other one is the standard Rover 870. Then I have also uh, made a group with uh, a standard uh, 6,5 times 55 Swedish Mauser Sabati uh, rifle, uh, without uh, the, the multi-radial barrel, so the standard barrel. This because uh, I wanted to give you the maximum information about uh, the advantage of the multi-radial barrel over the standard one. So the only way to do it was to shoot. Uh, so three groups with the three different rifles. Okay, let's go first on the group that uh, I have made uh, with the uh, Rover 870 with the multi-radial uh, barrel, the one with the camel wood stock. As you can see, the first two shots uh, made the, the infinitum <laughs> symbol. Uh, the, the, the two holes are very, very close. Then the third one went a little bit higher and on the left, but uh, I think it was my fault. Uh, my fault and 
the fact that the barrel at the third shot is already a little bit uh, um, uh, hot. So uh, the question also uh, was that uh, I shoot it with uh, almost 40 centigrade degrees, so very hot. And then that's why I think the third shot went a little bit uh, higher. Then let's see the second group that I have made with uh, the same uh, rifle but with conventional uh, uh, rifling. The first thing I have done is to shoot three shots uh, very fast and you can see the three shots here. Obviously, this, this, uh, these uh, targets uh, have, uh, have, uh, has been made at uh, 200 meters, okay? So the three groups are, are uh, at 300, uh, 200 meters, sorry, and with the same ammunition, the Salé below. So the first two shots. Then I decided to shoot other uh, two shots with the, cold bar with, the, with the hot barrel. And as you can see, there is a migration on the left and a little bit up. The, exactly the same that happened with the first group the, with the multi-radial bar. But as you can see, uh, the, 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 the tension of the, of, the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the hole is a little bit higher with conventional uh, uh, barrel and with multi-radial barrel, is a, this phenomenon is a little bit uh, uh, less. You, you can see that the distance is not so high like, like uh, the, the conventional one. I think that the reason why is because the pressure is, is, is lower with the multi-radial barrel. So you can shoot uh, also uh, with the hot barrel, but uh, the, the, the performance is a little bit uh, better um, with the, with the multi-radial bar. Then let's go and see the third group. This is very, very interesting. This group has been made, as I mentioned it before, with the hunter competition model with multi-radial rifling. As, now I show you four shots, four shots made uh, very fast, one over the other. Uh, so, you can see, this was the first shot and then the other three shots. It's, it's a fantastic group and at 200 meters is, it's fantastic and uh, the, the performance of the multi-radial barrel um, with, a, with, an, with a model uh, which have uh, a, a stronger barrel, a, 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 a bulkier barrel, is, uh, is far better than the standard one. Even, even the standard one for hunting purposes is, is uh, it's fantastic. But uh, if, you, if, you, if you buy this hunter competition model with a multi-radial barrel, you can go hunting and also you can make some uh, uh, some uh, um, a competition uh, uh, about um, with uh, with uh, ob obviously the caliber is six comma five times fifty five Swedish Mauser is very accurate but with this barrel is uh, it's fantastic. Well, uh, this is these are the results at the shooting range. Now let's go and see which are the results on the hunting field. After the success at the shooting range, now let's go hunting for roe deer uh, with the hunter competition model uh, in 6,5 x 55 Swedish Mauser multi-radial rifling barrel. Uh, I have uh, selected a very special uh, field. Uh, it's a, a narrow uh, field uh, surrounded by uh, tall trees. On one side they are green, the other side are uh, dry. Uh, so I will uh, put my camcorder uh, on the side of the, of the old uh, dry trees uh, because I cannot uh, take with me the, the camcorder because uh, I will stay in, in a very small little place and uh, 
the, the animals will uh, come very close to me, they will come out on the field very close uh, to where I am, so I do not want to make uh, any noise. Uh, so the, the point of view of the, uh, will be different between uh, the, sh the, the shooter and the camp coder. But this is uh, something that I have to do because uh, I don't have any choice. Um, this is a, a very long uh, field. Uh, the shooting range um, is between 180 yards uh, to 320 yards more or less. So I will test the accuracy of this uh, new barrel and also I will uh, test the performance of the bullet because uh, uh, I need uh, to verify if the nozzle partition 140 grains uh, gives the, its best results also on the field uh, not only uh, in the shooting on the shooting range okay now let's go hunting it's winter time uh, I will test the hunter competition model then afterwards I will uh, uh, test the other model the camo wood rover 870 uh, in the other configuration in the uh, summer and uh, autumn uh, season. Okay, let's go hunting. Here it is, my female or roe deer. I have shot it at almost 300 yards and it collapsed. You can see here the exit hole is uh, more or less of the uh, one times half uh, the original diameter of the bullet. The, the nozzle partition has worked perfectly. I'm very satisfied. Let me turn it as you so you can see there is no uh, too much damage around the, the entry hole and the exit hole so the bullet worked perfectly it was a very clean shot I'm very satisfied about uh, this first uh, uh, shot okay now let's proceed the test dear true hunters friends here I am for another turn of the, the test of the multi radial rifling Sabati 870. Um, I have uh, chosen a very interesting place for wild boar hunting. Uh, there is uh, a, a huge field of wet that uh, has been recently cut. Uh, as you can see there are some uh, uh, very interesting places where I can stay behind and uh, the wind here is, uh, is particularly favorable uh, for me because the, the prevalent wind comes from this side so the animals are just uh, uh, calm and tranquil. Um, there is uh, also an alpha-alpha uh, field where the wild boars uh, uh, used to roam especially during the evening and uh, there is a lot of water uh, down here uh, there is a, a thick bush, a thick wood uh, where they stay uh, in, uh, in schools so I'm very confident the only problem is that uh, since we are in mid-August uh, the wild boars, uh, there is a, is, the, it's very hot very very hot to, to this year here in Tuscany the, the weather is, uh, has been the hottest in the last century uh, so they tend to come out uh, in the late in the evening uh, and they used to return to their uh, sleeping uh, uh, grounds uh, very early in the morning uh, to avoid the, the, the disturbance of the insects. Uh, so uh, I know that it will be a very difficult shot and uh, uh, more it will be very difficult to uh, have a shootage of the of the shot but I will try to do my best as always uh, I have a great confidence with this Cytron uh, S-Tac scope uh, very clear and uh, with 56 millimeter 
front lens so I will be okay and also I will be okay for the red dot uh, that will allow me to, to shoot uh, even in the very uh, lowest uh, light condition. Okay, let's go and try tonight. Here it is, my first wild boar with the 7.5 times 55 multi radio rifle Sabaki Mercury. It was uh, a quite difficult shot at 189 meters in almost dark conditions. Uh, I took uh, the, the the animal was in trick water and it was uh, coming uh, uh, from a field and it was entering in the thick bush. So I decided immediately to fire and uh, I needed to be very accurate, very precise. And that was the case of this, uh, this parrot. I'm very satisfied. And let's continue the test and I hope to, to catch another one, maybe bigger. Dear True Hunters friends, I have uh, tracked a lot during these days to find uh, a big wild boar and I have found a couple uh, in, a, in a place where it is very difficult to hunt uh, because uh, the wind here changed dramatically uh, several times in the day uh, but uh, I have uh, good possibilities to, uh, to, to have a good shot because uh, the, the shooting range here is not, uh, is not dramatic I mean between 40 and 120 yards um, I have to study the wind particularly and uh, it, I think it will be a very difficult shot uh, for the, the, the light conditions because uh, these two animals uh, are uh, very scared, are very clever. They used to, to come out uh, at night, almost uh, at night. So it will be a very difficult shot, but uh, I, I, will, I really like the difficult things. And uh, they, they, let me tell you something about this place. It's a, it's a, it's a half a half a uh, field uh, surrounded by a thick bush and uh, there is a lot of water here, there is a small pond and uh, the, these two animals are, are used to go to this pond to, to drink water and to, to, to have a bath because it's very hot during the summer in Italy, it's a, it's a dramatic situation and so it's a, an ideal place but I have to study well the wind and the place where I have uh, to, to stay uh, um, escondido. Okay. Um, let's try and uh, I hope to, to be able to, to give you some good emotion. This was the real 6,5 times 55 shot. Something uh, for a surgeon. Look, look what a beast. 250 pound male wild boar. It came out at 90 meters. Uh, it was almost dark. I switch on my camcorder. I don't know what's, uh, what has uh, registered, but it was uh, a question of surgery because I knew that uh, with this caliber I had to bury to be very accurate, very precise. I aimed for the neck and that the shot, the, the, the big animal went down. I am so happy, happy and satisfied about my trio. And uh, what, a, what a beautiful beast, what a beautiful beast. And uh, what, I, I'm, very, I'm very happy because uh, I couldn't expect something better for, for this uh, new multi uh, radial rifling. Uh, it was not a very long shot but anyway uh, a fantastic animal and I'm very very happy and, uh, and uh, congratulations to uh, engineer Emanuele Sabati to have done a very great job. Henry Ford, uh, the founder of the world famous uh, uh, automobile company said that uh, we can talk about uh, a true 
uh, innovation only when uh, it is available and affordable to everybody. And this is exactly the case of this uh, Sabati Mercury brand new uh, multi-radial rifling barrel. I was very proud to test it on the field and uh, I was the first journalist ever allowed by, uh, by the engineer Emanuele Sabati to test it and uh, I have found it uh, really, really astonishing. Uh, great uh, performance, uh, great accuracy and above all uh, the price of this barrel is exactly the same of the conventional one. So this is a true, truly innovation. Okay, see you soon on the next uh, hunting field test on truehunters.tv. This program was offered by 